everyone. I hope you all had an amazing holiday weekend that you got to spend with your friends, your family, whoever you wanted to spend it with. I know I had a great holiday weekend. I only had to work a little bit and I got to spend a lot of time with my family. And I wanted to show you my amazing Black Friday haul. I got such great deals on a lot of beauty products from a lot of places. So I thought I would share them all with you guys. So here we go. Up is from Target. Uh, this isn't a beauty product. This really wasn't a Black Friday sale, but I finally got my Reputation magazine. Um, I've talked about before that I usually get all of Taylor Swift's albums since like Fearless on opening day or release day at Target, but I didn't get to for Reputation because I bought it on iTunes and Sex. I don't have a disc drive in my laptop anymore, but they were only $13 on Black Friday and I really wanted the magazine, so I felt like it was worth it still. Up is the Yes to Tomatoes brand, which has really good stuff, and it's really decently priced. I got some gift sets. I got the Charcoal Super Detox Skin Care Set, which has some charcoal face masks, which I love, and some charcoal facial wipes, which are great for when you want to remove your makeup or when you don't want to wash your face when you're really tired and it's really late at night. So I love those. And then I also got another tinier one that also has the facial wipes in it as well as an acne detoxifying charcoal cleanser, which I am also really excited to try. Up is this giant bag from Ulta. There were so many good deals there, like there are every year. Uh, first up is just this really cute Ulta brand rose gold hand soap. I just had to get it because it was precious, and I am getting ready to start decorating for Christmas any day now, as soon as I get time. I also got a Bedhead Curly Pops 1-inch spiral curling iron. I've never tried the spiral ones before, but I really don't like traditional curling irons, and this one was a really good deal, so I thought I would give it a try. So we'll see how that works, maybe someday in a video. The next thing are also some hair care products. My favorite brand of dry shampoo was on sale for buy one get one free, so I'm stocked up on dry shampoo for quite a while now, which is lovely. That was like the theme of the night was stocking up on beauty products so I don't have to buy any for a long time. My next thing I got, more hair stuff, is these little bio silks silk therapy light that I put in my hair occasionally because my hair is really dry and damaged and I used these a long time ago and I'm glad I found them again so I can put these in my hair and maybe make it feel a little bit nicer. I also got some palettes. I got the Urban Decay Nocturnal Shadow Box. It was a really good deal and I haven't had Urban Decay stuff in a long time so I'm really excited to try this out. I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit, which I have the Aurora Glow Kit, and I'm very excited for this one because these colors look amazing and perfect for the holidays. So I am very excited to try this. And it's just such gorgeous, glittery packaging there. I'm very excited to play with all of this fun stuff. Also from Ulta, I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Ultimate Mascara Set. It has two travel size ones, as well as their mascara melt off, which I always have issues getting my mascara off at night. I currently use Tarte, and it stays on forever, and I always have it under my eyes in the morning, so I will definitely be using all of this. The last thing I got from Ulta, I'm not sure what it is, really. I found it while I was in line. It is called the Glitter Up Babe Bright Hair Face and Body. So I'm assuming it's just glitter that you can put pretty much anywhere. Um, it feels like kind of like a gel, so I'm not really sure how this works. So I kind of want to test it out a little bit right now. It was in such a cute packaging, and it said cruelty-free right on the front, so I, of course, wanted to try it. I don't want to squeeze too much out. This is really difficult packaging. Okay, so it's like the rollerball glitter that I remember from when I was like 10 or 11 that you would like buy it limited to and stuff. But it actually goes on pretty nice. I feel like if I just practice with it more, I could use this as like a highlighter or, you know, if I want to get fancied up for like New Year's Eve or something, I could definitely try this. 
Next up in my haul is Sephora. I went to Sephora uh, as one of the last stores, so there really wasn't much left that I was interested in, but I did get some pretty good finds still. The first is this First A Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Minis in Original and Vanilla Citron Infusion. Um, I've wanted to try these um, for a while because I have really, really dry skin, especially in the winter. So this was only $20 for two minis, and I'm very excited to try this. There was another one I wanted to get, but it was sold out before I got there, but I'm still excited about this one. I also got some of the Vice lipsticks that were on sale. I've been looking for a new red lipstick lately, so I got two different ones to try. I got just the regular Vice lipstick in Wonderland, and it looks like a very dark red with blue undertones, which is my favorite kind of red, so I'm very excited about that. And then I also bought the Vice Liquid Lipstick in Trap Queen, which is called, it says metalized. It looks like, kind of like a glittery red, so that might be a fun one for night, night outs and stuff. And then I also used my Beauty VIB points and got the Makeup Forever Basic Meets Bold little gift pack. Um, I love Makeup Forever and I will probably use every single one of these products in here and probably buy them in the future so I'm very excited to try this out. And next up from the from more beauty and skincare products is the MAC Prep and Prime Snowball Kit. It just has three of their mini primers in there and I use Prep and Prime almost every day so this is another really good deal that I will use for quite a while. Next up and lastly for the beauty products is NYX. Um, I just bought a ton of stuff at NYX when their new store opened, so I really didn't get too much that I really needed this time. But I did get one of the Glitter Goals glitter kits. Uh, I just started using a Too Faced glitter kit, and I love it. So I decided to try this one. It has three shades in it, and they are purple, pink, and Luna. And they look gorgeous, and I have heard very good things about NYX's glitter glue, so I am very excited to try this. Not least, a lot of people know about my love of penguins and all things penguin and cute and cuddly. And so I got this adorable little Betsy Johnson crossbody bag, and he's a little penguin with sparkly little flippers, and he's just super cute, and I could not resist him. So this was my one little cutesy little impulse buy I guess on Black Friday because all the other stuff was stuff that I will definitely use a lot so this was just my cute little fun this is very last minute this is I think the last thing I got on Black Friday and he's just adorable that's it guys thank you so much for watching my Black Friday haul please share with me all the cool deals you got on Black Friday and what some of your favorite beauty and skincare products are that I should definitely check out. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos every week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!